North House support for democracy continues to echo loudly in Hong Kong, which saw a dueling protest today. Pro-democracy activists taking to the streets for the 11th weekend in a row. They were joined by thousands of teachers this time. Meanwhile, one pro-government group rallied at a waterfront park outside the Legislative Council building to show support for the Beijing-backed administration. Susan Lee has more from Hong Kong. Thousands taking part in mass demonstrations across several rallies in the city of Hong Kong on Saturday. One that was supportive of the Hong Kong protests, one that was supportive of the Hong Kong government, and one that turned tense. The one downtown, just outside those famous skyscrapers that dot the famous Hong Kong skyline. Teachers usually turn out for their students, and apparently they turned out in the thousands, according to the rally organizers. Meantime, at the Hong Kong government buildings, we had tycoons, real estate billionaires, joining those that came out in support of the Hong Kong government. Government, and by extension, also Beijing and China as well. One, though, across the waterway here in Kowloon was meant to be a peaceful pro-democracy march, but it soon dissolved into an all-too-familiar scene in Hong Kong. A tense standoff here at Hong Kong Police Station on a Saturday. The police are already in their riot gear. The Hong Kong police, in dealing with these protesters, have upped the armor and have brought in the riot squad. Riot police chasing protesters to the bustling, busy streets of Hong Kong District, which is also a very busy tourist area as well. And speaking to the local shop owners, they say that they have never seen anything like this in their generation. Thankfully, no one was hurt. There was no tear gas, lobs, but it is a new reality here in Hong Kong. Eric, back All to right, you. Susan. All right, Susan, thanks so much.